doing it. No one look at my screen. All right, looks like that works. Oh boy. The butler did it. Ooh, I like the glasses hitman. Oh, the bandito hitman. Okay, I'm ready. You guys ready to pick up where we left off? Hitman, Hitman 1, Hitman 2, Hitman 3. Okay, I've already done that one, okay. Story so far, all right. Let's do it. Are you ready? Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Is it me? It's the ace. Okay. Best lads. Oh no, best laid plans. Look closer. Oh. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much 47 has been nine. lost, but we are That's closer so than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. Wait, this is also a recap. Downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. So for childhood friends, why do I have a number? He's got a real name. Whoa, what? A cloud building. That's where they're hiding. They're hiding in the clouds. Sky crimes. Partners are down there. Down where? You know, I never planned this far ahead. What? You never do. Did you not pack a parachute? I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? Oh my god! <laughs> Story over. What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations. Over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. Uh -oh. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. 
make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so worth? Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. <gasps> Happy Shit. hunting. Ooh, we should kill him with a pen. Eat the rich. Ooh, we should bake him into bread. Okay. Ingram family is Scandinavian origin. The earliest known ancestor were blacksmiths in Norway, but in the early 19th century, they migrated to America, became cattle ranchers, eventually made a fortune selling gunpowder at the American uh, Revolutionary War, and later established an empire in oil, Wait, I thought it was a civil war. Oh, it said a different thing. One star. Later established an empire in oil, coal, and steel. By the 20th century, the Ingrams had uh, become one of the world's biggest fossil energy providers and began their business expiring fields such as agriculture, pharmaceuticals, and consumer goods. Um, in fact, some of the family's biggest sources of revenue came from the Thwack Beverage Company. Damn, they own Thwack? Uh, okay. Is their political clout a benefit of controlling the vital oil and coal markets that make them truly powerful? The Ingrams are responsible for most of Providence's op operatives positioned in governments and state institutions around the world, including senators, cabinets, se secretaries, generals, and even a high ranking papal advisor. And they enjoy a close relationship to Middle Eastern and Latin American powers. Carl is brash, direct, and cowboy at heart. Despite their immense wealth and privilege, the family has always cultivated a Protestant work ethic, and Carl feels most at home at his Kansas ranch or touring his oil fields, which, incidentally, is also where he brings his business partners and political acolytes to size them up. Carl is a lion of a man with a quiet air of dominance and a steel handshake. He's also highly intelligent, receptive, and an astute judge of character. As a youth, Carl enlisted in the army and completed a tour of in duty of Vietnam. Really? Wow. Carl studied military intelligence, became a foreign policy advisor in the White House by the tender age of 32. Oh my god. This man everywhere. Music's far louder than the mic? Good. I got nothing important to say. His pragmatism transcends political boxes. He views himself and Providence as the vanguard of global stability. He was married twice. With two sons from his first marriage and an adopted son from his second. They wrote a lot of lore for this guy. Okay, and how about Marcus? He is real estate and banking, owned 15% of all property on Manhattan. <laughs> Holy shit. They were amongst the five richest families in the world and the most powerful clans of rogue capitalism. This day, their intricate network of banks. Uh, there's this. Okay. What side of World War II are they on? Made a fortune off the Congo. Great Depression. An introvert and dyslexic, Marcus dragged himself through college on the wings of his family name 
and generous campus contributions. He landed a job at the prestigious law firm Morgan, Gates, and Cohn. Although his grades were hardly in the top 10%, diligent and determined he was on a partner track when Eckhart died abruptly of a stroke, Marcus was approached by the first time by Arthur Edwards, the second constant, revealed the family true legacy. Partnership on a whole different scale, the Marcus later learned that Eckhart had long considered appointing Milton Fitzpatrick CEO Eugene Cobb instead of his pedestrian son, but he died before he could finalize the decision. Oof. He's going to get passed up. This guy's got whole backstories. Is it gonna be harder for me to kill them now? Sorry, I'm gonna turn down the music. If I can find options. There we go. Alright, planning. I'll just go by default, I guess. Oh wait, I can smuggle an item. No, I can't. Oh, I guess I did just skydive in. <laughs> Doesn't give me a whole lot of options. Uh, ooh, what difficulty, guys? Master? Nah, 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 nah. Professional. I'm not even gonna give you guys the option. Here we go. Will Yumo, thank you for 31 months. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. Mr. Gray's gonna help me? Fuck 47. Yeah. Come in, 47. Do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Bum, 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 bum. It's an action game now. Climb. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. Whoa. Uh. Hmm. Oh, there's hot air balloons. Where are we? Oh, are we like in Dubai? Looks like it. is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. All right. First save. Here we go. What? Huh? 
How? How? experience I changed colors of the suit <laughs> on behalf of his royal highness omar al oh. Good. I'm not gonna hurt him. The tallest building in the world. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly, make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. Hmm. Follow mission story guide. Nah, I don't think I will. It's interesting. Um, I'm getting the impression that they good, man. went for like... Good. God, why is everyone hitting on me? <laughs> they, they went for like a more uh, narrative inspired one that gives you options for the narrative to be more important, you know? I'm not, not necessarily against that. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al-Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zayna Kazim. Sir, I... Oh, sorry. It's super uncomfortable, sir. <laughs> sir, I understand. But you can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. Everyone's so friendly here. Hey, what's the quick save button? Is it F5? Definitely gonna need that. Is there a quick save button? There isn't one? Oh, shucks. Push people off the tallest building in the world. <laughs> That's fucked up. Okay, I'm just testing the loading. I want to see how bad it is. Okay, we're good. Oh, many coins! I'm gonna be rich. You are way too close to me and you're really freaking me out. Can you just leave me, please? That was a big waste of time. Crystal Dawn. Um, you are right in my personal space right now. I'm trying to sit down. That was a big waste of time. Crystal Dawn won't be happy. 
<coughs> Crystal Tom. Excuse me, but can you please extinguish <coughs> that cigarette? You are blowing <coughs> cancer directly into my body. It's a smoking area. If you don't like it, piss off. Oh, it's dripping. Jesus, I was just asking nicely. No, you were being a bitch. Now go away and binge eat some celery or whatever idiots like you do. Oh. Or do something worse than blowing cancer in your face. Oh my god, what is your problem? <coughs> you are sick. You have no idea. You have no idea what I've done. <laughs> okay. Let's keep telling them. Such a waste. So much potential squandered. She's gonna be excoriated in the press, of course. That seems a little harsh. If you loved it so much, then we should put a wager on. Just say the word and I'll get my Oh, this is convenient. Sorry, man. Do you know who did this? Oh, Someone, please, help hey, me! Do that. This That's more than you just tissue damage. Sounds like someone's getting the shit kicked out of them. Good job, thank you. Oh my god, thank god you're here. Please. I need help. Oh. Just charging at random people. Perpetrator is not who he seems to be. Come in, come on. How copy over? We have a situation and I need you to stay calm. Uh just get out of the way, okay? I hear ya. So I need tell you me your what your down role was you in this mess. Life. I'm talking to you, sir. Nothing I might It was you! <laughs> <laughs> See if I can conceal. Time to step up your game. Leave the area and don't panic. Okay, oh, okay, okay. What's going on? Are we in danger? Okay, now you need to get home. Oh, oh my. You gotta help me now. This is really fucking serious. Oh no. He wasn't even looking for me, dude. He was just appreciating the plants. No way. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so happy playing this game again.
waste of time. Man hates music. Kill. All right. Man, he had a lot of stuff on him. Uh, how do I... That right. Alright, let's see if we can get past the guards. Like, he couldn't... Save there. How are you today, sir? I'm good. If you want to pass, you need to comply to a frisk, sir. Uh, hmm. 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 Okay, I can make this work. It's a pretty swanky place, huh? Oh, yeah. I could get used to a gig like this. Beautiful. I love the small talk in this game. I want to turn it up again. It's it's quiet now. The music's just the loud part. What was that? <gasps> Cannabis joint. Coconut. My man. May I offer you this weed in this trying time? Sir, back off. Oh, okay. All right. Understand? Conceal items. Yep. Yep. Just throwing away my gun. Oh shit. Put it back, put it back. <laughs> Fuck. Uh is there more trash? <laughs> I need to find more trash cans. All right, we're just we're setting it up, guys. Uh, please don't backseat, guys. So one thing you, you need to know if you're gonna watch this stream, I play Hitman my way. If you don't like it, you can leave. I have made videos of Hitman for nine years, and they often involve repetition and asinine decisions. Just let me do my thing, okay? And I promise you, you'll have a good time. Unless you want like a speed run playthrough of this game, in which case watch literally anyone else. They have orbs here. Poison that champagne.
appreciate all you have done for me. <laughs> Without you, I wouldn't be here. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't that. Oh my god. <laughs> the guy walks away. Any news on the new guard assigned a code name Pinky? Hey, man. Oh! What's name do you think you're doing? I can explain. Surrender. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Whoa. Okay, alright, this is gonna be tough. Hey, I can, I can make this work. Come on. <laughs> oh! No, this isn't a door, it's just a blue wall. Position. Move visual. Target lost. That guy missed all of his shots. God damn it. Come on. Got no visual either. Come on, pretty boy. There's more where that came from. Dude, everyone thinks I'm pretty. It's actually like really flattering. Gonna throw away the gun. Yep. And now, frisk hey. me. How are you? Wait, I got a knife. Okay, hold on. Uh. Mister, drop the blade. Oh, got oh, it, shoot. punk. Huh? Hey, oh, you, get ya. Okay, you know, we can do that better. <laughs> and lethal poison. Yeah, but that that's just my medicine. I'm going to say this is my medicine. All right, here's how... All right, life hack. You want to get your folding knife past the guards. Here's how you do it. Uh, okay, hold on. Um, uh, okay, okay, okay. Plan two. Drop. No way. How do you drop an. Oh, it's Z. Fuck. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> So again. Okay, no. Gun. All right, and now we get the knife over there. Oh. Hello. Good, man. Go Looking see what that good. was. Thanks. I will have to pad you down if you're coming this way, sir. This will just take a sec, sir. Don't you take my knife. Thank you. Nothing. There's nothing here. Yep. Whatever. 
<laughs> it worked. Oh, I love this fucking game. Day to you. Another frisk zone? Alright, let's see if it works again. Uh Okay. Sorry, sir, you don't appear on my list, so you need to go. I am on the list. Watch. <laughs> Man leaves, does not check me in. Okay, fine. Right, fair enough, fair enough. I'll prove to you some other way. This is the meeting room. I'm supposed to be here. I'm a businessman, and this is my room. This is where I sit in my room. Mission objective. We need to get in there to d disable the security tapes. Here's how we do it. Huh? Dispatch. I just heard something fishy. Oh, not in the mood for playing games here. Wait. Fuck. That easy. See? Did it. Damn knife gremlins. Just wanted to remind you about the uh, lockdown drill tomorrow. That's right, 900 hours. And the key cards to activate the alarms are still in the safe in the security room. Oh. Okay. Yeah, same code. Six, nine, two, seven. Just don't tell your mum or I'll to shoot. <laughs> okay. Okay, but remember, you need to activate the alarm on both floors, otherwise nothing's gonna happen. Good. Yeah, I will do. Thank Have you, exposition man. I really appreciate that. He really laid it all out for me in a very concise manner. <clears throat> what the banana? No way. I just had, I was so, there's no way. He fucking clocked him with the banana. I'm sorry. I'm all right. No more. <laughs> I just, I can't help myself. I mean, to be fair, if if some man just walked up to me and beamed a banana in my face, I would probably react the same way. I just go ah, <laughs> fucking fall over. <laughs> Rap God. Why is no one doing their job?
Wait. Oh shit. I have a key card, don't I? Oh, I'm the man, man. We have so much access. Caution, child. Thank you for five months, man. If you got the briefing on the lockdown drill tomorrow, I got it. I'll get issued one tomorrow. All right, time to be creative. You know how it works? Because I don't. It's easy. Oh dear. Uh huh. Okay, but it means I'll work. There's a fine for littering here, but. <laughs> Fuck. Why did only one of them look? They were supposed to comically both look together and bump heads. Yeah, I forgot I have like Assassin's Creed vision. Oh, is that the target? I don't even, I was just fucking guessing, dude. God, I got good killer instincts. I doing dude I don't know what I'm doing up here dude that's Carl Ingram Providence partner and brass balls billionaire a legendary political fixer Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come I need a distraction. I need a distraction. <laughs> no, I hit him with a banana. I need help. Oh man, imagine though one of the richest people in the world being assassinated by a banana. Imagine the headlines. Alright, you know what? First person to come up with the best headline gets VIP for the rest of the stream. A lonely boy came from a less than modest home showed uh, from an early age uh, signs of, of great intelligence and inventiveness. Something that no one noticed. I will not conform. Wait, wait, wait. It's happening again. Oh no, they didn't notice me. Okay. I have some time. Okay, that's enough for now. Nothing. Oh my god, there's so many attempts. These are all awful. And you guys were making fun of me last stream for my puns. Look at you now. Now who's the, the punny ones?
Bananair. What am I gonna do with this? Bad. I need a break, though. Let's go for a break. Go for a smoke break. Oh wait, <gasps> dude, wait. Can I give him the cannabis? What happens if I give him weed? All right, new objective found. He will overdose. You need to leave this area. Understood. <laughs> Gets up from banana. Hey, you up. should leave. I think we got a situation. Baldy brained billionaire with banana. Okay, I like the alliteration. Wait, they're just back to it. That was fast. Just a randomly occurring banana? Guess so. It's going in my cringe collection. <laughs> Out of your job. Holy shit. No way. What? Move to better vantage point now. He's right there. Last I'm still alive. Shoot me. Okay. It's casual difficulty? It's not. I'm not playing on casual difficulty. <laughs> this is on professional. Brain dead billionaire butchered by a banana. <laughs> Alright, fuck it. That's the best we're gonna get. Congratulations, cursed Katie. How do I even make? Soldier. A lonely boy who came from a less than modest home showed his ass. Holy shit! <laughs> I just love hearing the voice actors' reactions. Holy shit, he just beamed my boss with a banana. <laughs> All right, uh, hmm. I really want to do the weed thing, but I'm not, I don't have it right now. Do I have to go all the way back downstairs? This is going to be such a waste of time. Yeah, I'll put a shortcut. So are you telling me I can't do my job? I'm sorry, Mr. Ingram gave specific instructions, okay? Area now, show me your hand. Jesus! Are you gonna do something? Or just stand there and bleed? No! Oh, wait. Okay. I'm exploring. This is, this is, at this point, we're just reconnaissance. <laughs> okay. Keep low. What? Uh oh. Hitman server. All right, I want I want that weed. I'm going back. Oh dear.
Um. Hey, don't you move. Oh. Hey you. Get it's like, a, it's like, dude, this is like what happens when you tell one lie and you get caught in a web of lies. Yeah, you know the guest grumpy one who always wants peace and quiet. Yeah, I haven't seen him playing golf today. He must be good. Dude, if I can't give that guy weed, I'm going to actually refund this game. Phrase I never thought I would say, but here we go. But I guess that will need a little practice. Uh, happy to not be at work tomorrow. Oh, it smells delicious. Is it nearly done? Are you kidding me? No, it needs to simmer for perfection. It must not be disturbed. You speed it up and you... You are standing very close to me, sir. Please I'm like a dog. <laughs> I stole dinner. Wait, I gotta stop. I really don't know. No way. Shit, shit. Whoa! What? Whoa! Up on your feet. Let's go. Come on. You're okay. Right? Back here again? some progress. I'm not going to overwrite this one in case we fuck this up, but... You know, I'm just setting shit up. The real secret to, to playing... Wait, wait, I can explain. No sudden move. She was an assassin. Oh my god. Surrender. Now. There's a funny explanation for all of this. Um. Orange, you glad I didn't you say banana? Copy that. Oh. oh, I thought he was gonna fall. <laughs> god damn it. Put the banana on the ground and have him slip. Now you're thinking like a YouTuber. That was so close. Find out what that was. Come on, come on, come on. Bro. No. Area looks clear, sir. Find 
dealt with that one. The banana's gonna kill someone on the way down. Yeah, apparently, if it's a frozen banana, it's just gonna cleave someone in half. thing. Oh! Bro, please. Um. Huh. Oh, wait, 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 the, uh, the camera. Gotta be weed back here. Cannot blend in too suspicious. Shit. Story of my life, dude. Oh, come on. right on the gram filter okay this is kind of sick is this what trillionaires do Civilization grows great when old men plant trees whose shade they shall never benefit from. The earth is... Oh, and it goes away when they're not lit. The earth is not something we inherit, but something we borrow from the next generation. Wow, so true, so true. Oh, hi. That looks unique. Oh, what a look! I love it, dude. I just want to play like fucking photo mode now. This is great. Screw trying to kill people, just get good snaps. Use the filter. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's it. That's the stuff. Oh, 
Ooh, you okay, dude? Hello there. Where's the weed? Okay. Trouble. Trying yes. to keep a low profile. So right there. Have you That's Marcus Stivus. Provident. <laughs> Walks up to target, takes picture. It's partner, self entitled and arrogant little worm. He might not look like much, but he's done more damage to the world than you could dream. You better keep your mouth shut. Oh, we got, what we got. Hey, pal. Put it in the holster. Knife. Crash. Oh, fuck, guys. What was it? What was it? What was the code again? Was it? Oh, no, 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 no. Jack, come on, dude. Come on, I know you're good for something. Six, nine, two, seven. No, no, dude, come on. That's a lot of beer. open this place is huge hey uh fuck off I beg oh. you please no. no why would you throw that hey are you hey. insane Sierra 6 You're reporting blending. in. Once more onto the breach, dear oh, friends. No. No. <laughs> what does that mean? Once more into the breach, dear friends. <laughs> As he rushes off to do some fucking work. Uh, yeah, that's right here. A wet band <laughs> strikes again. <laughs> Looking very well today, sir. Huh. Well, I'll be. That's kind of... Dude, you know that's very suspicious behavior, Twins or no? What do you think? I don't think they're actually identical. I think they're they're a slight different. Mm, wait, maybe not. They have the same beauty mark, same earrings, slightly different hair, and then I think slightly different eyebrows and different lips. Yeah, interesting. What's that? Oh, oh that's that was you. Crabs the whole time. Fuck. Damn it. Cornelia. Far away! Far away! Help me now! This is Imagine that killing you. <laughs> Marcus, you are keeping yourself out of 
Ooh. I think it's over here. Wait. Yes, of course I have the keys. Uh, no, can't do that. Do you know that Carl is wondering why you were down huh? here? Carl is not my keeper. And you better keep your mouth shut. He can't know I contacted him. Don't worry about it. This secret is safe. Carl. the weed. Hello, sir. Abstract. Apple. <gasps> oh, that We're close. Nice. Kitchen knife. Small. Closer. Warmer. Warmer. Make me look really bad. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Uh -oh. Don't you worry. Lost the colleague is also out there looking. But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my boxers and you are a woman. It's just so embarrassing. Oh, it's nothing I haven't seen before. But you don't understand. I'm military. <gasps> we military men are used to punctuality. I I was supposed to be ready and present my papers half an hour ago. Well, now I have papers. Yes, you men in the army. It's huge. <laughs> We're just sowing chaos wherever we can. Fine. Thank you, God. Let's retrace our footsteps. He goes in here. Yup. Cannabis joint. All right. Objective: get the bad guy high is on. safe zone. Missing fuel cell. Ah. That seems like a fancy kill. Is that him? I'm telling you, I am above the law. Don't push me. Idiot! I need help. Please, please, somebody help me. You just knocked them out with that thing. I bet you feel really foolish now. Not so much fun when somebody gets hurt, huh? What? <laughs> what? What is she talking about? Alright. Uh, well, that was interesting. I didn't expect him to walk into me.
<laughs> he walks up to an assassin. Wow, I just saw you kill that guy. I bet you must be embarrassed that I saw you. Oh shit, this is it. What was it again, chat? Come on. Was it one six nine? Shit. One. Come on. Six nine two seven. Come on. You're lying. It's not the same code. Less content for you guys. Hope you're happy. Enjoying the view, sir. Definitely gonna get energy cell up here. Um, turn off the generator. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> what makes you say that? All the water surrounding the electrical fixtures? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's bullet point number one for sure. And where How's are we it going up here? Look at Fuel Cell. Well, we've only got one fuse left in the fuse box over there. Yeah. If that blows, we might get some irregularities with the lights. People might not notice. Lucy will. She'll flip. She demands perfection. I told you this was a problem this morning. You haven't told her yet, have you? I tried. But this is her day. It's her biggest exhibition yet. excuses. Fix it. Or do you want me to go and complain to his oh, royal is. highness personally? You still have my cell number, I hope. I tapped it into my speed dial. Well, then fix it. Call me when it's done. Well, then fix it. What do you think I am? Hey, good to see you. You too. What a friendly person. Take it easy, man. Shit, where is this fucking room? Wink. Wink. Raccoon, thank you for the gifted sub. Wow, a gifted sub to a lovely ghost called Scotty. That's a wholesome name. Hey there, it's my birthday. Happy birthday, ghost Scotty. Wow, wow. All right, I need to get to this room. Get there. Uh, 
gotta find it around. Here we are, here we are, here we are. Missing fuel cell. What? I hold it. I hold it though. Chat, why is this happening? That's a fuse, not a fuse cell? Oh my god. What do you think I am? Some sort of freaking electrician? I'm not supposed to get that now. Make it fit. Go up the ladder. Uh, this one or the other one? Let's see. Holy shit! Oh, here we go. Alright. Override safe zone. Wait! Wrong lady. <laughs> I don't know anyone was there. Oh man. Honest mistake. Yeah, anyone could have made that mistake. Uh, note from Tate, uh, make sure you do not put the fuse back in until we figure out the electrical issue with the sun. This needs to be fixed ASAP. Once it's done, notify Delora that it is safe. Whoever fixes it has a nice surprise waiting for them. Oh, I need to find Delora. And I need to look like an electrician. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, I need help. Are you insane? No, for Christ's sake. Help me. Let go. Okay. That could have gone better. <laughs> All right. One more. Should have saved first two. Stupid, foolish streamer. Kinda. 
I shouldn't be alive. Episode 32. I was working at a trillionaire's party and then the boom box fell next to me. That thing will never be repaired. <laughs> True. Fuck, they're investigating. Just eating an apple. You need to tell me what the hell is going on here. I don't know, I'm just eating an apple. No, please! Hey. Uh, uh, uh. For two, uh, hmm. Imagine waking up next to your um, your colleague in a trunk. Dude, that's the that's the guy. Can I sneak by? Don't mind me. <laughs> All right, which one's the person to talk to? I really think you're coming on a bit strong there. Uh, I just don't feel the same. Back off, okay? Not you. Not you. Nice day for it, isn't it? Who was the lady I talked to? Near son. Okay. It's the one that I fried. Makes sense. Alive. There he is. Where is this person? Whoa. Uh. I just need to know where they are. Uh, Delora. I'll be stationed at the exit for most of the day. The exit. The exit of the, uh... Exit of the exhibit, I guess? You. Uh, Looking you. good, man. Looking good. It's definitely her, right? That's the entrance. Oh my god. Fine. Alright, follow, follow the path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so inspired. I'm so rich. I, I'm i gonna save the world. Generations and all that. Oh god, it's him again. Oh, it's her. The sun. It's fixed. It should glow as specified. Wonderful. Yeah, I can see that. What? Hopefully it's that weird there. man will find me alone. It's beautiful. I'm certain he won't bother you anymore.
Got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. Smooth. What are you guys doing out of the oh, trunk? Knocking <laughs> innocent people out. Shame on you. Security. Please help. Help me. There we go. She just noticed that. <laughs> oh, shit. We have a security breach. Get out of our way, okay? Okay. Oh, crap. You okay? Yeah, I'm all right. And she's back to work. Okay, good. Christ. What? Can anyone please help me? I, need I didn't do anything that time. Hey, I need some help here. Dude. Can you please stop that? Watch this. I'm not sure I know who you are. Stop. And I'm out. Crap. Not good. So not good. Operation, get the big bad highs on. Oh, shit, I must go and get the, um, uh, from the, 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 what did I say? I was going to get, I can't remember what it was now. Something about the, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get that. I'll put the passport or something. But I'll, I'll do it when I get to the uh, other side of the thing, and then I can get some uh, of the other stuff as well. So it's kind of, oh, God, it's, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in there and get it now. I like that, man. Does anyone talk to themselves like that in real life? Where am I? Does this control the orb? Sabotage server rack? What the fuck is going on? Silent alarm has been tripped. Security is on its way. Hide, 47. Breaker, breaker, we got an intruder. Stand still. You know, it was a 50-50 if that was going to work. <laughs> Knowing this game, 50-50. Thank you. 
Wait, if I had gotten the other uh, code that you guys refused to tell me because you're bad people, um, you think that alarm wouldn't have gone off? It's a hell of a uniform you got there, guy. It's the same uniform as you, dude. You okay? <laughs> Those ants down there? We gotta find where he stashes the ciggies. I put in the cannabis one, bada bing, bada boom. It's the gateway drug. Next time we know, we see him, he's doing meth. It's the long, it's the long con kill. <gasps> My meaty bone, I forgot about that. Every Hitman villain just does bad guy monologues all the time so that whenever you do kill him, it'll be really dramatic and awesome, you know? Lights up there. That's a sick, that's a cigar. Hello, sir. chess pieces to keep the balance and like all the great chess masters of our time patience is the key this is the, uh, the oh. fundamental rule hey pick that up i'm serious about can I offer you this perfect might as well make me another yes sir another one coming up good man I gotta learn his pattern. And we can always just poison the drink. Oh god. Sir, what are you doing here? What am I mean? Just uh Okay, distraction, distraction, distraction. I've got 20. Oh my god. Received an Alright, oopsie. You I didn't think he would come that fast. Wait, wait, look. 
6927. See, guys? Wait, what did you guys say it was? Did me try that? Oh, okay. I see the problem. So we have to open one of these. Oh, in the security in the lower level, and then we use that. Okay, okay, okay. Let's give it a shot. Well, that didn't help me. That's what we said. Yeah, but like, come on, you know? There it is. Our chat, what is it? Just kidding. But if you answered, you're a good boy. Or girl. Or whatever you identify as. Okay, now I have both of these. Shit, now what do I do? Um. And penthouse key card. And fucking big ass gun. Okay. Now we're talking. What happened? Oh, it worked! The floor is wet sign. Chaos. Looking good today, sir. All right, now let's try the. Uh... So, what are getting those key cards do? I want to explore this map to its fullest, but I don't want to, like, run up and down a million times. Did not expect that. Four seven oh six. Staff door key. Oh, that's not as important. One seven eight nine one three four. Two one five nine. Oh my God, so many numbers. All or din, all or din, laddie. Call Kareem.
everyone. Is this mysterious panel? I gotta know. Was it four seven oh six? Screw it. We're going back up to the top. Let's finish this. One way or another. Hmm. Whiskey? Any news on the new guard assigned a code name? I got word that he entered the building for years and reported for duty. He's probably still down at the depot, getting his uniform. I just hope he's got his papers with him. I heard rumors that he used to work for that Dowwood Rangan. You know, the Bollywood producer who died? Doesn't sound promising. <laughs> nope, it doesn't. I think that's one of our other targets from Hitman 2. This poor guard, <laughs> he's gone from one job to another. He keep killing his bosses. of it, dude. bone it keeps coming back <laughs> I keep getting excited when I see the meaty bone Ooh, someone's all kitted out let Ingram know the food is ready oh speed up timer oh wait can give him bad food. So what are you really up to? I hit the egg. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hit are the you egg. listening to me? Oh shoot! Someone He's doing out. my job for me. Hey, who are you? Do I know you? Okay, well, that's one option for a kill. Turn on 
ice machine. Hmm. Okay. Okay, you can poison that pretty easily. Um, let's have that be the backup, okay? So while he's setting that up. Oh, hello. <gasps> I think you should pick that up, sir. No, you pick it up. Okay, new plan. Please stay back. We're gonna poison it in the middle of the room. love coins. <laughs> Ooh, the coin! gonna try to jump off the building and get fucking oh my god that's even better that's one of them there's two though right oh no 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 don't eat that I found a better way to kill you Fuck, 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 fuck. Guys, we gotta distract him. Meaty bone. Hello, sir. No, I don't say what? Gah! Are you gonna pick that up? Oh. I saved him. What the hell was that? No! <laughs> Come on! Oh, bugger. Yeah! Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Fuck. Shoot Oh, oh. Up, up. Just gotta find the other key card. It's alright, we can do this in time. It's gonna be close. I think we overwrote the save. It's it's always gonna be poisoned. Okay, okay, go on. We got this, we got this, we got this. All right. Just gotta find the other emergency alert. Wait, I have an idea. I need assistance. 
saved. Oh yes, um, I as well. Time to go to work. I'm doing your doing my job. His food. So close, where is it? Yes, Pedro. Fuck. Uh. Was it again? Six nine two seven. Shit! It's got a different code. Wait. Seven four six five. We're on the clock. <laughs> we got him, 47. Soon there will be. Alright, alright. Is this before the poison? So let's check. This is. Okay, 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 okay. We can do this. <laughs> the fuck did Crick Boy get a femur? You know, I get that. I get asked that a lot. I like to think we all have a femur inside of us, though. You have two? What the hell? Share! I'm that quirky guard that always walks around with a meaty bone. Vesson and Ingram have been hiding under the wings of His Royal Highness Omar al Ghazi since their new ideas were handed to them by Haven, getting ready to activate the new heirs. However, Carlisle has suddenly discovered that all of their funds have been liquidated. 
She assumes that it can only be the constant and has decided to return home and take care of the family business, abandoning the two others in Dubai. Yeah. Key card used for triggering the VIP evacuation protocol. Did I not get both of them? Or are there two key cards? I mean, there are two key cards, right? So we gotta swipe two different things. Walked past one of the pads earlier, I think. I don't know, that doesn't sound like me. I am very observant. See? So do I have to pull them both? I already did pull them. Money being channeled in the they hadn't done it yet. Let's try it. Hmm. Chat. Help. Why know it work? It's on a time delay. I gotta run to both of them. Whoa, whoa, okay. Shit. This one guard running back and forth, desperately trying to get the protocol to go off. Not suspicious at all. There he is in the meantime. Could easily just fucking bury this hatchet in him. Oh! Here we go. The alarm. You need to act fast before those bastards evacuate. Head for the helipad. Oh, I'm gonna be okay, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. What the? Escort the principal away from here now. You, you're go, you're go, forgetting go. your parachutes. I hear you. Wait, I, I have to disable. I have to disable the helicopter. You, you work out the extra. Wait. No choke points. Everyone else, eyes open, weapons high. I hear you loud and clear. Oh. If you don't think this is a drill, use the emergency parachute in your rooms. <gasps> yes! Oh, I was about to make a big mistake. All right. We've left the helipad. Their last chance is by parachute. Make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah I'm here now. It's all clear. Over. You motherfucker, don't give me away. All right, we're Sorry. in position. Gentlemen. Set up our perimeter. None shall pass. You hear me? Permit. HQ. I have nothing to report from my current location. ETA at extract and seven mics. Control, out. All right, look alive. We're moving out. Here we go. <laughs> look how dramatic this is. He looks so cool. Safe zone. Someone check that goddamn exit. 
I understand. This acid actual. This is Alpha One actual. Area is clear. Please advise. Over. Here it goes. Whoop. We got some 47. What, what am I looking at? Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done Ooh. here, but it's far from over. Now I make my exit. Hey, get ready. You copy command. <laughs> Runs past them, jumps. How did he die? We cut his parachute. Look at all this experience. Wait, there's a clown mask? Hell yeah. Two stars, dude? Two star gamer. Wait. No way I'm number 87 globally. Okay, I, th I think the online's broken. <laughs> Top 100. It's a new release. Yeah, no biggie. All right. We're going to start the next mission in just a minute, guys. I'm just going to get a quick drink in the meantime to celebrate our uh, epic Battle Royale victory. Dude, that was fun. I love this game so much. I, I just love seeing all the different options, you know? We did so much in that level. Drunk stream time? Listen. I just killed two of the richest people in the world. I deserve a drink. In fact, I'm going to make myself a, a bougie drink. I'm going to drink some Hennessy. Wine can. Here. Look at yourselves in the meantime, okay? Be good. I'll be right back. Dude, streaming is the easiest job in the world. You can just <laughs> put chat on screen and they just entertain themselves. It's like if it's like if you put a mirror in front of a pet and they were just happy staring at it for hours. Rat Jam doesn't load for me in my chat. What should I do? Um I think there's a there's a Twitch setting that disables animated GIFs, or it's a better Twitch TV setting that disables animated GIFs. You have to just disable that. And then look, now it's a troubleshooting stream. Do not bully streamer man.
Okay, I'm sorry. All right, sorry guys, I, I took you away. You cease to exist now. <laughs> I forgot you guys have object impermanence. <laughs> so when I remove you, you just fucking void out. <laughs> Ceases to exist. All right. Here we go. New location unlocked. Art installation. Nice. Atrium lobby. Wait, is Gray in this party too? We never saw him once. Ooh, a waiter. The snow globe. Poison vial. Supply room. Kitchen. Briefcase. Pretty good. Okay, cutscene, cutscene. Quiet. If that's your winning face, I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. Nah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once, we can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. That problem with authority, I think. Look, you don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, She'll make it right. She always does. Aww. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. The real baddie. <laughs> Isn't there one more partner we haven't killed yet though? The um the lady that they talked about? Okay. That's the assassin that uh we killed. Are these like separate stories? Hold on. Oh, we probably have to kill him. Oh man. I I love this game. It's so cool. Alright, let's do this one is. Is he under this rock? She came home. Is he under this rock? Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. <laughs> Yo, look at that mansion! Alexa Carlisle is dead.
What? According to the funeral invitation, that is. Oh, she faked her So death. naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Oh, Carlisle, I love it. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house. Mm. Meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. Oh, fuck. Yo, I got chills. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. That's so cool. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the constant. Information that may be helpful in his recapture. So don't leave the estate without it. Right. I love her model. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Dude, they nail these, like, cinematic openings. Like, with the type, the type font and all that shit. It's so good. All right. It's a graveyard. It's a haunted mansion. I'm so excited. Also, can we just take a minute and appreciate Agent 47's fashion? By God, they made him fucking top this year. Oh. Oh. Well. Oh. Let's do it. Thornbridge Manor, the Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The Revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult the children, Revenant. younger brother Zachary, grandson, and daughter in law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, oh, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. This is so Dude, it's a murder mystery. Is this just Knives Out? Dude, this is Knives Out, Haunting of Bly Manor. It's everything wrapped into one. Look, there's the fucking lake. It's, oh, I love it. It's Skyfall, it's everything. It's everything I wanted. This is a private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. Phineas Whitmer. I have an appointment with Madame Carlisle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlisle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Bad cops. Dude, just fucking walk around the gate. It's it, There's a broken wall. Come on, guys. Best security, my ass. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carlyle has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. If you take his place, it may be an opportunity to get close to Madame Carlyle. Yes. I am the troll under the bridge. Everything 
around here. <laughs> I need some help here, please. <laughs> the famous detective <laughs> immediately gets beamed by a brick. You should do something. Someone is being really annoying. Just do something before it escalates. <laughs> really annoying. I'll investigate. Oh my gosh. Are you okay? Oh. Okay, it seems like we've got some sort of situation. Please, let us do our job. Oh god, uh, um, okay, okay. Please get up right away. He's okay! That was a brick to the face that shattered on do impact. I don't have that information. Oh, Christ's sake. C2, this is Alpha 1 Actual. I've arrived at location and it looks clear. Over. Hey! This area is off limit! We tolerate no trespassers! Stop! I said shit! How are you doing? Okay. Dun, dun, dun. It was me all along. The detective. Oh man. What a twist. <laughs> it was a hitch maze. Oh my god. I'm nerding out so hard right now. Mr. Whitmer, thank God you're here. Can I take you to Madame Carlyle? Wait, he's gotta go back to do his his path. Because I screwed up by throwing a brick at him. Give him a minute, guys, he'll be there. Where <laughs> he's going all the way, he's leaving! He's like, fuck this. I got hit with a brick, I'm going home. <laughs> I'm fucking done, dude. A brick came out of nowhere. He's actually leaving. What? Not normal, mister. Jason! Oh, we're not too late. Let's oh, move. Come in command. How copy over? Seems like we have a troublemaker out there. What a stupid disguise. You really think I'm that stupid? What? Put your hands up. That's right. Keep your hands where I can see them. Nice and Target is just <clears throat> fighting. Watch your fire. <laughs> okay, okay, we can do this. Alright, you know what? Full replay, full replay. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for cap. I, you know, hmm. All right, there's two different ways to play this, guys. One, we just take him out immediately and turn into him. Two, I try to shadow follow him and see his story. Like, I want to see what his, why he's here. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Okay. Here's the plan. Use a trash can. Dude, 
he saw right through my clever coin plot. Hmm. Could you just go and see what that was, please? Yes. Huh. Kill you can't be here. Please, leave now. Hey. Oh. Oh. Knocking innocent people oh. out. Oh, Shame on you. Security! For the love of God, please! I need help! <laughs> this guy's lost it. Attacking innocent people. Do we have description of all <laughs> This guy's lost it. Oh shit, this was after he got hit in the head. I just need a disguise. Doesn't have to be his. Let's see over here. The music is so good too. My lucky day. It's a penny. Shit. Ah, fuck, fuck. as long as path. Let's not take any chances. You, go check it out. Acknowledge. Beautiful. Um, th there's something creepy about him. See, is he, is he actually broken? I don't blame him. I did hit him with a brick in the head. Whoa, whoa. I'm gonna take you out, you knucklehead! Evening, gents. Mr. Whitmer, thank God you're here. Can I take you to Madame Carlyle? 
Yes, please. If you'd follow me. Yeah, we'll we'll try this. You know, we'll play this one out. I know I oughtn't say anything, but I'm so relieved you're here. Everything's just so strange. Preparing for Madam's funeral, and then she turns up alive. But then the awful business with her brother Zachary, and and all this security. I've never seen the place guarded like this, and yeah, keep it real. Uh, and I dare say I don't yeah, like it, it at all. Well, this is what I mean. You have to be patted down before you see Madame Carlyle inside. Oh, I could just cry. Yes, about that. I just realized I have to take a piss. You. Oh. Hey you! Bollocks. Surrender or die! Oh my God. Well, Ow, it seems you've no caught me. Look at that guy. Yeah. I'm getting in! Yeah. <laughs> uh. I know I oughtn't say anything, but I'm so relieved you're here. Everything's just so strange. <laughs> Preparing for Madam's funeral, and then she turns up alive. But then the awful business with her brother Zachary. Then and, and all this security. I've never seen the place guarded like this, and, and, and I dare say I don't like it at all. Well, this is what I mean. You have to be patted down before you see Madam Carlyle inside. Oh, I could just cry. Sure. Not the problem, miss. I am simply just a Security. regular detective after all. Okay. Thank you, sir. This, uh, this will be over in no time. Okay, let's go, sir. Thank you. Well then, Mr. Whitmer, thank I you see one potential you. death. <laughs> Stabbed by fucking antler chandelier. Holy shit, that's metal. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution handled with absolute discretion. Results and discretion are my speciality. Very well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Fernsby. Role playing. Butler. Madam Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Butler. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Would you care for some refreshments? Or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? I prefer to get started. As you wish. If you'll follow me, sir. I feel obliged to point out that current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. This is so haunted, look at it. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that the staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madame's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with them if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. Do, do we get to just do a murder mystery? I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madame Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. Excuse me, it's very rude. Middle of the walkway. Before I'll consider her dead when I leave! I just, <laughs> I just got this. that. Oh my God. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. No. The door was locked from the inside and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. Sorry? I don't know my right from my left. A locked room murder mystery, 47. 
I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. This is amazing. Look at this room. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? Oh my god. I was not expecting to love this game this much. But this mission, I am like, I am so elated. I cannot describe it. I'm sorry, that's really rude. That's better. Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. Maybe one of these plants? Bum, bum, bum. You guys are ready to be doing that a lot. Wait, do I have a better way of... Um, okay, I do have a better way of doing that. Aha. Uh -huh. A fake book. A hidden door. <laughs> it's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Interesting. People. Curious. Every time we get a clue, I'm gonna ding. Hmm. A photocopy of the floor plan. A floor plan. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. Another people. <laughs> okay, I'm. I'm, over, I'm sorry. I'm overusing it. I'm just excited. Teddy bear! Oh, it's made of wood! I think the crime scene has more clues, 47. Alright. Oh, a see through mirror. Oh, she already said that. Dude, one day I hope to be old money in the UK so I can buy a mansion like this and be murdered and then have someone come investigate it. Oh, alright. Bit off center there. Zachary was shopping for new Wellingtons last night. Not exactly <laughs> what you would stuff. expect from someone suicidal. Not 10 pounds? Doesn't this guy, like, their family's worth trillions. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It reads, I am haunted by horrible past choices and they're, they're all consuming consequences. Alexa was the raft keeping me afloat. Without her, I cannot go on. Goodbye. <laughs> it could be relevant to I will not elaborate on what past choices I made, <laughs> but they are haunting me. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. Oh, crown dry gin. Looks just like Tanqueray gin. Fancy hat. Myself, but solve a good mystery. This man was murdered. I intend to get to the bottom of it. Ooh. 
Oh. Me. How can I reach these cases? I think the coolest part about this is that you can also just play this mission as a normal Hitman level and like just become a bodyguard or shoot her immediately and leave. You know? Feather Duster! Oh, hell yes. Detective, though. Did the portrait photographer check out? You verified his identity. I vetted him thoroughly. He's good. Gentlemen. Oh, you know what's the best part about this? Once we kill her, they won't even have to pay for a new funeral. It'll just be tomorrow. It's the most convenient murder. Oh, uh, just remembered, I went for a stroll behind the greenhouse last night. Maybe that's where it is. What is? Oh. My lost button. The one you couldn't find at the graveyard. Maybe a good idea for you to go and look for it. Now? A good idea. Yes. I bet there's something in the freaking dumbwaiter. There always is. Oop. Wow. How tall you? serious. I have a friend who's a boy. She says that's the sweet, sweet life. You should come and stay at my place in London. We can have a come over. Give you some tips. I'm quite happy here, thanks. It's definitely the son. Or the grandson or whatever. Oh, letter opener. Classic murder weapon. So watch yourself around young Mr. Patrick. Don't worry about me. He was in the room when the butler had that conversation. That guy's a real dick, so be careful. <laughs> Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case. And I will take you to Madame Carlyle. Okay. This is very useful information, 47. Oh, this is so I'm so I'm so happy. Alright. Zachary Carlyle, Alex's younger brother and fellow resident of Thornbridge Manor. Zachary was found dead in his bed this morning. And despite a suicide note and doors locked from the inside, Alexis convinced he was murdered. Gregory, the oldest child of Alexa Carlyle. Gregory is a suspect in the murder of Zachary Carlyle. Middle child, Edward. Rebecca, youngest child. Emma, the wife of Gregory. Patrick, the son of Emma and Gregory. And then Mr. Fernsby. All right, let's question them one at a time. So how does one solve a murder mystery, 47? 
Motive means an opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps you prefer searching the manor for clues first? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to talk to them until I have more information. You like, um, reading? You look really smart. In a good way, I mean. I do like reading. Really? I like reading too. I read all the time. Literature and, and such. That's nice. Yeah. Hey, did you kill your freaking granddad? Patrick Carlisle. <laughs> can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, shit, it's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. Elaine, give us some privacy, would you? Don't she, tell mother. Where did that okay? ring go? She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie, uh, for an evening stroll. I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. If that's all, I think I'll get back to my slow death by boredom. What did you think of Zachary? <laughs> Creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. You know, father says Zachary and Alexi used to be two of a kind. He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an idiot. Thank God daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married mummy. I don't have to worry about the inbreedings her customary in these circles. So, is that it? Did you see anything suspicious last night? No. I reckon Zachary topped himself. I know I would have. Or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. I don't like him. He could have done it. Yeah, that he sucks. <laughs> Come on, pick that up. That Fane from Divinity Original Sin 2. Huh. I never would have thought it, but you know, maybe. Look, this is amazing. God. I can like see all the inspiration that went into this. <laughs> oh my god, look at these items! This game is so cool. How many paddles do they have? Monkey! Hmm. Would you mind looking into what that was? No problem. No, don't see anything over here. Rebecca Carla, <laughs> can you tell me about yesterday evening? We don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not like we sit on each other's laps. Now, let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a quarter to nine. I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. I had a conference call with my New York office at nine, so I spent three hours on my laptop in my room and went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. Three hours for a conference call? She did act a bit strange. You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived during breakfast. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Tell me about Zachary. Did he act strange last night? You know, now you mention it, he was a lot more chatty than usual. Mm. He wanted to know about my connections in the publishing business. Apparently, a friend of his is writing a book. 
Which strikes me as very peculiar. I didn't think he had any friends. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? Anything else you feel like mentioning? I may be wrong, but I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. It's probably nothing. Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. Is there anything else hmm. you want to ask me? Convenient. That'll be enough. Did I just... Uh, excuse me, I think you dropped something. Poison. Missing poison. <laughs> Soon as you've got them. Thanks, Phil. We'll get to the bottom of this. Hey. Interesting. Clock dung only once. But it's 2 p Oh, there's the second one. Took a while. But why don't we get any kind of explanation? It's bloody rude, that's what it is. Making us come here to play funeral and then show up like nothing's the least bit strange. Oh, don't get your knickers all twisted. I'm telling you, she's not fit to be in charge anymore. Huh? Hey, I saw that. Go pick it up. Gregory Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, you're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and the wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> the, the short of it, Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Anything else you want to pry from my intricate intellect? Ugh, I hate him. Tell me about Zachary. Zach? Huh. Such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle. But who could blame him? Only company he had was his rare plants and mother, who travels more than she stays here. Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger ball. He's better off dead. Is that all? Not very thorough, are you? Anything else you'd like to tell me? Nothing, really. I'm just enjoying the show. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. You know, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. Imagine not knowing your mother is, like, the head of a fucking Illuminati. <laughs> Actually, wait, I could imagine that. Emma Carlisle. Can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. I need to account for everyone. Well, I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around eight o'clock. Anything else you want to know? Hey, Night Arc. Thank you for the 26 months, dude. So sorry to hear about that news. That sucks, man. Well, you're welcome here. Thanks for spending the night with us. You're, uh, you're welcome anytime, and hope we can make you laugh at least a little bit. Okay? Thanks, buddy. How did you feel about Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. How do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? In my opinion, Alexa bears some responsibility for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him live here. Is that all? Have you noticed anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing special comes to mind. Except, perhaps, I did get a feeling that Zachary was depressed, not just sad. 
I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one, letting him believe she was dead. Then again, guilt isn't her strong suit. Dude, he was looking up freaking wellies, dude. Ten pound wellies. That guy was about to have a night out in the town. In the rain. I don't think he was... I don't, I'm not buying it. Yes, hi Cassie, it's me again, Edward. I, I know I'm not supposed to leave you messages and this is the last time, I promise. It's just, uh, I don't know how to handle this whole situation. I love Edward. I, I don't think I can really, I, I, I can't feel my legs and my eyes are not working properly. This flicker thing again. Edward. You can't tell anyone. But well, the thing is, I've been asked to perform the eulogy at the funeral event tomorrow. I know it all sounds so unbelievable. But even though Mother is still alive, we still have to go through with the funeral. I have to write the eulogy. I don't think I can. She will definitely want to read it, and no matter what. I, I just know she'll be disappointed in me. Oh. Again. My legs are really weird. I, I need you, Cassie. I'm sorry, I know. Ah, uh, hang up. Not supposed to do this. Christ, sorry. Bye. Sad boy. I hope he didn't do it. Professor Edward Carlyle, can you tell me your whereabouts for last night? Oh, fuck! I'm so sorry. Wait, no, no, no. Undo. Undo. Reset. Uh, can anyone help? That person right now, or I will shoot you down. Ah, you. <laughs> uh, fuck. There he is. Not supposed to leave you messages, and this is the last time, I promise. Professor Edward Carlyle, uh, can you tell me your whereabouts for last night? I saved him. Oh, the, yes. This dreadful business with Zachary. I stay at the local inn. He doesn't you stay see, here? I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He'll never admit it, but I think he understands that I find this whole thing upsetting and wanted to provide some comfort. I believe we went to the Stag's Head around half past eight. If that's all, I have a speech to write. Can you tell me about Zachary's behavior last night? I certainly didn't expect him to commit suicide. Sure, he was upset by mother's supposed death. We were. But he seemed more engaged than usual. You should ask Rebecca, they had a long talk. Did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? His plants, mother, and the staff were all the company he had. Anything else yes. I can do to help? Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? You mean apart from the fact that we came here to bury our mother and she shows up alive and kicking? Zachary found dead in his bed this morning? Or perhaps that the planned funeral is still taking place and I have to do the eulogy? And mother will surely have strong opinion on it afterwards. I can't breathe. Excuse me. Sad boy. Oh, pick I don't the know phone how to out. This whole situation. Oh, he's going back to. I don't think I can really. I, I, I can't feel my legs. I'm, my eyes are not working properly. This flicker thing again. You can't tell anyone. But the thing is, I've been asked before. And that's when I knew the real culprit was. Don't know why I started talking like bugs, but okay. You know what? Fucking ruin it. I'm sorry. I got upset. Not making 
the bed the way she prefers. It's so unfair. She just discovered Zachary's dead body and was all shook up. I tried to tell Emma, and do you know what she said? She said, things will change around here. I can promise you that. I saw her rearranging the photos in the sitting room, hiding Ish. Madame in the back, and then moving Montgomery to the front. She's not right in her head. Why would she do that? He died almost 50 years ago. Oh, thank God Madame Carlyle is still alive. Um. They mix up the voices. You need to forget about Patrick. No good's gonna come of it. Stick to your own kind. Oh, you mean like Chris? He treated me like shit. All he wanted to do was play his stupid video games. Never any romance. I deserve romance. I love video games. Rosie, tell me what you did last night. I'm in trouble, aren't I? I... I spent the evening with Patrick. We met after dinner and I went home at one in the morning. He said he needed someone real to talk to. When he looks at you, it makes you feel like the center of the universe, like a real princess. But now he just ignores her. Well, he's under a lot of pressure. He's an idiot. That's what he is. Aww. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Any strangers outside the house? No, no, we saw no one outside. Except Patrick's mother, Emma. We were sitting on the bench behind the greenhouse talking when she came out and um, we had to hide. You won't tell her about me and Patrick, will you? She'd insist Madame Carlyle fire me. I'm sure of it. Too right she will. Emma, she's always huh? going on about how things will change once she's in charge of Thornbridge Manor. Emma, huh? How are things coming along inside? Is everything ready for tomorrow? getting a headache from all the decisions. I mean, pram or stroller, comforter or not, should I ask her to marry me? What if she says no? And then what? this big funeral thing tomorrow? It's the last thing I need. Amy is a great lass. You love her, she loves you. And now a wee one on the way. I'd say you're one lucky bastard. A wee one on the way. I just like collecting things. I got big pockets. How are we doing on uh, alibi confirmed? Question, questioned, alibi confirmed, alibi confirmed. Yeah. I think Emma. Rebecca tried to throw shade on uh, old boy Mr. Fernsby. Go back to Emma. Ooh. Guns. believes we had something to do with Zachary's death. Oh, please. He's so oh, I, I could listen all day. I don't he see pours him snooping emotion around your sister. into that instrument. I bet Alexa you said know. something. If I could be bothered, I'd be worried about your mental health, Emma. But sorry, I'm having too much fun enjoying the circus. Oh. Well, enjoy this circus. What? Wait, 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 I didn't, oh my god, oh no, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, is it gonna blow up? Maybe not? Sorry everyone, false alarm. Hey, I gotta question you again. <laughs> See? Poisonous flower emetic. I got it. Proof. Case closed. Where's the stairs? I gotta tell the butler. Wait, there he is. Mr. Fernsby? Mr. Whitmire. 
You have enough evidence to present your case for Madame Carlyle? No, not yet. Come what? and see me when you do. Oh, shit. Uh, can we wake her up? <laughs> On top of everything, Rosie thinks she's in love with young Patrick. I mean, that's a breaking heart happening if I ever saw one. Poor thing. And that detective asked to come here. Madame Carlyle must believe Zachary was murdered. Why else ask him to snoop around? Oh, I feel weak in my knees from all the tension here. Don't worry, I'm sure everything will settle down soon. Hmm. The second person in the household suffering from leg syndrome. Coincidence? Or something else? Madame Carlyle wants a picture taken. If you were to assist with the missing fuse, I'm sure the portrait would be one for the ages. She expects the family photo to be done any moment now. Oh my I god. Need this shoot to happen, okay? Imagine and fucking killing them with perfect. in the middle of a family portrait. Can't we just take a fuse from another fuse box? Uh, I, I guess we could do that. Good. Really appreciate it if you left. Oh man, really? Broken lab equipment. It looks like it was recently used, though. Hmm. I said they let him stay here, but Emma was sure Emma would throw him out the first chance she got. And now we'll never know. Oh, my. You're taking this hard, aren't you? I'm... Okay. I know it looks like I fucked everything up when I, uh... <laughs> when I knocked out that lady, but if there's a if there's a if there's a way for us to salvage this, I want to find it. Yeah, when you question, yeah, exactly when I questioned her. Yeah, can camera look at fingerprints? You'd think this would be one of the uses of the camera, but apparently not. I can tell what time a guy died, but I can't check fingerprints. It's just typical that Annie gets to help the photographer. I'm the pretty one. But work, 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 that's all I get from Fernsby. Yeah, Frank is busting our balls out here too. Find a 
wrench. We need to... I will never again meet someone like Zachary. I can't bear to think what will happen to all his rare plants now. Oh, come on, Oliver. I understand why you're so upset. It's such a shock to all of us. Has no one found the body yet? I don't think anyone walks over there. I think it's just her. back to the detective uh, disguise, but, you know, I'll use this in the meantime. The boat keeps my escape. Okay, that's good. I doubt that's true, though. No, he was here when the safe in Madame Carlyle's office was repaired last week. He had to carry some heavy bolt to the top floor. He complained about back pain for the entire weekend. A safe in Madame Carla's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. Cheers. Oh, that's the perfect fucking murder weapon. I'm just kind of enjoying exploring the map, to be honest. It's so beautifully done. I'll find the graveyard. Oh, there it is. Madame Carlyle wants to inspect the arrangements for the staged funeral tomorrow. What's the delay? It's the birds. <gasps> They're making a racket, droppings everywhere. The undertaker wants them gone before he'll see Madame Carlyle. He's in a right state. So, unless you want to take on the birds, I suggest you stay clear of him. Oh, no, my aim's horrible. Safer for everyone if I just wait here till he says he's ready for madam. Can we kill her with birds? I'm saving an entirely new save for this one. Scattering in that tree, sir. Huh? I don't care what they want. Christ! I have enough on my mind as it is. Scare them! Shoot them! I don't care! I just want them gone! She's so good, too. Abusing my reputation for this. this outrageous spectacle. The staggering disrespect. Monster. Uh, Somebody, I need help. Could have done that better. <laughs> Did you hear him as he was going down? Why, why are you doing this? Okay. 
Can we bury her alive? I, oh man, there's so many, so many possibilities. Actually heartless to do that. I mean, I'm a professional hitman. It's kind of in the job description. Or wait, can I, can I just fuck over their thing? <laughs> fuck you. You no longer have a grave. do that in case I need it later. Explore this map thoroughly. Oh god, the wood chipper. Classic in Hitman games. I hope I die in the autumn. I love autumn funerals. Madam Carlisle isn't dead, so there is no funeral. Not if you ask me. Well, I still think it's going to be a beautiful service. Well, I'm siding with the Undertaker on this one. It's wrong pretending to be dead. Something you don't mess with, not even if you're filthy rich. <laughs> it sounds like a, like, Babel NPCs. I hope I die in the autumn. I think autumn is beautiful. Bro, if you don't die in autumn, just say don't bury me till autumn. Like, it's not hard. Like, if I died in the spring, I'm just like, fucking wait a couple months. So many here at the same time. Not a big so. deal. A funeral is a big event. A lot of important people will be here. Thank you. To find a wrench. Cars usually have wrenches near them. All well, these are fancy though. Baseball. Seen a dead body before. Life can be tough sometimes. Alexa, back from the dead. A make believe funeral, a murder mystery. Oh, it's all too much. I'm not Oops. sure I know who you are. What the fuck? Oh, that's that was the best reaction I've ever heard in this game. That was so genuine. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, let's not talk about that one, okay? Missed little be uh, beginning. Is the NPC dialogue as great as ever was? Uh, I think this is the best yet for NPC dialogue because it's somehow managing like the comedic memory if you play that way with also actual story. Like every map has an actual narrative and almost like cinematic way of doing it. Or you can just be a fucking idiot and run in and like I don't know, do it some awful way. It's great. Ready for the funeral. It needs to look good for the family portrait. I can feel that pressure too. What? 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 I will never again see someone like that. I can't bear to think what will happen to all this rare. Where are all these wrenches, goddammit? Come on, Oliver. I understand why you're so Sorry to say, I mean, I'm just exploring right now, guys, so sorry if it's taking a little bit long, but also, this is, I think, the best map so far, and I'm just kind of loving soaking it all in, so I'm also not sorry. Is that the fuse box for the house? He's really not noticed his wife is knocked out over there. Look, there's her body. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Yo! A unicorn, a unicorn horn. Amazing. Wrench? Come on. Most valuable wrench. On top of everything, Rosie thinks she's in love with young Patrick. I mean, that's a breaking heart happening if I ever saw one. Poor thing. Receipt for the repairs of a safe in her office. Safe may well contain. And that's okay, I know that. Madam Carlyle must believe Zachary was murdered. Why else ask him to snoop around? He'll weaken my knees from all the tension here. They will all need a vacation when this is over. Another person weaken their knees. What is this? There's a theme here. This has got to be relevant. Three people describing getting weak knees. Another hatchet. Coins for the wishing well. Mary fainted when she heard Madame Carlyle was still alive, and she didn't <gasps> even see it herself. It was Fernsby who told her. I didn't see it either, but it was still quite a shock for her coming back from the grave. You know what? I'm going to the guardhouse.
Oh, that's a lot of bodies. And those are the body dumping grounds. Wait. Oh, I did shoot them with a gun. Yep. <laughs> I was, I was, they're not dead. Why did they put them away? Nope. Definitely did shoot them. I like how that didn't raise an alarm. Finding three murdered people at, out front of the house that's got a murder invest, investigation going on. Steve, 105. Thank you for two months. Subs are delicious. Agreed. Are you guys planning to give the whole grounds an overhaul? Yes, there's so much to do before the funeral tomorrow. Church, church, church. My kingdom for a wrench. Ooh. There's so many things. Fucking God. Greetings, it. sir. Was a wrench. Where do I live? Do you mind? Thinking about Rebecca, I'd really like to show her my work. I just need a good ear. What would you say if you wanted to get her attention? Oh, I don't know her that well. All right, well, we know how to kill them with the uh, with the family picture. <gasps> Why was it on? Oh my god, it was it was there the entire time. Fucking hell. Garden wrench. Of course. Blind? Blind? You kill me! Blind! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Sorry. I let my anger get better of me. My detective outfit. Oh no. Where did my detective outfit go? Oh, here it is. Here we go. Got his new. All right, in. Would you look at that? Uh, hold on. Oh, 
Oh, wait. I shouldn't have that. See what the hell that was. Okay. All right, then. Let's get this out of the way. No one's found that body. He doesn't really care. I hope that doesn't screw over this, uh, this save file. This is going to sound crazy. <laughs> I think I got to get them to wake her up so we can continue with the quest. So, um, all right, here we go. What? Bloody hell. Where did that come from? That's the result. Huh? What is it with you? you okay, oh, mate. That's not a body, is it? Oh, no! Help me! You gotta help me! It looks... Okay. Well, could have done that better. Um, let's see. Where was I? Oh, mate. You've got to be kidding me. Is that a body you're carrying around? No way. Land on the axe head. That is so lucky. It's not safe at all. I think. Or just rare. Check your notes to see if you missed anything in the rooms. Uh yeah, I guess I did. I didn't check any of the rooms yet. Alright, let's do that. This is when Emma talks. And she leaves. <laughs> because Emma's unconscious, things are starting to break. Cool, cool, cool. Stuff you can scan on the cameras marked on the mini map. Really? Wow, I've got many things, don't I? Like you mean it. <laughs> Not the uh, reaction I expected. Props to that collision. Devs actually nailed it. It's pretty rare that a game actually, like, you know, nails that, you know? Like that, I bet you've worked with a lot of high-profile celebrities. I actually, my... yeah, I should right, let you later. go. Ooh. That scandal. And color it like that. Yeah, good. Ugh. 
Who am I kidding? He's probably not looking for anything serious. That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. Why is everyone fucking the maids? <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, that was fucked up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did you see something? There's an imposter back there. Don't touch that. Stop right there. Are you gonna do something? Or just stand there and bleed? Come with me. That was cool looking though, right? I looked like the fucking Terminator for a minute until I died. Uh, where is that save? It was an auto save. Oh, this is right before I tried to open the door. Check that out. No way. Huh? Hey, mister, littering is against the gay. Hey, shitbag. The trash can has been invented. Shitbag! Did you talk to mother? I haven't had the pleasure of. She just clams up when I try to get an explanation. Not even an apology. We I got mean, a leaving her mother dead is not right. exactly how I'd like to spend the week. And then she shows up, up like that. I nearly shat myself. <laughs> I mean, she really oh, talks. I, <laughs> I love this game. I'm sorry. I'm look, guys. I'm just I'm playing this for me at this point. All right. I like forget you guys are there sometimes. I, it's just like the music goes like ding <laughs> whenever you fucking bang someone with a with a bust. All right, this is the actual way to do it. You're not a psychopath. Well, hold on. Did you talk to mother? I haven't. Okay, I better go now. <laughs> Look how he's ragdolled. What was that? What's going on here? What happened? We've got a violent person running a mock. Any description on the possible suspect? I didn't see who. <laughs> We have a description. I didn't see anything. It happened so fast. No way. Command. Anybody there? Come in. I've got someone on the ground. See, I fixed it. Watch. Now they're gonna get her up. She also doesn't know who I am. Hey, you all right? Oh, okay. You're coming out of it. Okay, enlighten me here. Do you have a description? I didn't get a good look. I'm sorry. Really? <laughs> really? Call sign Niner. I'm here now and area is clear. Out. My face when the victim isn't good enough at identifying the criminal. Really? Like you really didn't see who fucking almost murdered you? Arbor razor.
Um, Walking cane. <gasps> That's so cool. Do you like dogs? Oh, did you see that? That was what the achievement was called. Do you like dogs? Do you like dogs? Now, this is interesting, 47. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. The plot thickens. Well, I never. A keychain pendant for the greenhouse. What's that doing in Emma and Gregory's room, I wonder? And why is the key missing? Ooh. Super pain flask. the Carlisles have fought to prosper all of us alone. If we could only unite across time, we could crush them all. Very normal thing to do as a human being. Talk to your dead ancestors' portraits. Mysterious switch. Oh! With the game! Yo. All the thing we did was for nothing. To protect the Carlyle legacy, what? And then, dude, oh, we have like the best assassination here. If we were, oh, look at this. Bollocks. <gasps> it's all I doubt our big brother could have botched it up any worse than I have, even if he tried. Well, well, well. It seems we've stumbled into. Can't, you really can't time it any better. Oh, clear it off. That's <laughs> Madame Carlyle taken care of. Just really bad at his job. <laughs> uh. It's all gone. <laughs> I doubt our big brother could have botched it up. Eh? Learn that the horrible thing we did was for nothing. To 
protect the Carlisle legacy, what bollocks. It's all gone, I fear. Eh? Who's doing this? Stop it at once. Please stop throwing fish at me when I evil monologue. Please. <laughs> At least you never got to learn that the horrible thing we did was for nothing. What? Oh, Zachary. Ali eh? Oh, Zachary. <gasps> At least you never got to learn that the horrible thing we did was for nothing. To protect the Carlisle legacy, what bollocks. It's all gone, my dear. That bloody Arthur Edwards, how did I not see it? <laughs> I doubt our big brother could have botched it up any worse than I have, even if he'd tried. Surprise! What? What's happened to you? Oh, wait, hold on. Good. You're not dead. Hold still. I'll get some help. Help me! Help! What? Damn. Go away. <laughs> Well, well, pip, pip. Madam Carlyle. Mr. Whitmer, you found proof of what happened to my brother? No, not yet. Go and see Fernsby when you uh, do. Oh. What? Well, that also works. That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. Stop suffocating that person! No. Take off his head! There's only room for one bald man in this house. Under the table, wow. Okay, uh... I want to finish the mission. I want. I want to finish the mystery. Okay. Bollocks. Obviously, we can kill her here and get out scot free if we want to, but we got this far, so. That is the door to Rebecca's room. Two clues found. Is that how detectives do it? They check their journal and they see that there's one out of two found? Aha! Of course. Mr. Ford.
Hackery's room. Emma and Gregory's room, missing one. Damn, missing one here too? It's a big ass hat. Secret entrances. Uh, hmm. I don't know where to find the other clue here. This all feels like clues to me. Boxes on map. Oh, wait. Just a laptop. <laughs> I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9 p.m. to midnight last night. Well, she's off the, uh... Hey, that's a cane. Oh, huh? I need the cane. Shit. Shit. Dallas 6, moving in a possible enemy target. Over. Yeah, because like otherwise, I mean, did the other hit hitmans have a camera you could use like this? Shoes and footprints found in the grave ring in this room. Aha! I feel like we got a lot of pretty much there, right? What are we missing? Mr. Fernsby's office. Some more in the greenhouse, apparently. Here, this is the secret lab area. Sir. Okay. doing wrong is the butler's room on the first floor oh it is okay my bad guys
done. Sir, pick that up. Down. Down. I hope because I picked up the evidence from the body of the person who did it, it isn't going to ruin it. I really hope. Solicitor upstairs. Why do you think he's here? I think solicitors are mother's favorite kind of people. Okay, this seems to still be in their loop. Ah, oh, there's a, there's a. Bye. Take a picture. Won't call you again. Promise. All right, Butler's room's gotta be like right around here. Staff toilet, staff room. So 41 guests will attend the piece. That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's Aha. office. Freaking golf club. Ah, Mansion Master Key. Very good, very good. Zachary's, Zachary's diary. <gasps> what? This is big. Suicide note found in Zachary. Uh, okay, it's a suicide note. Burnt diary in the fireplace of Mr. Fernsby. Details how Zachary and Alexa conspired to murder their older brother Montgomery, and how Mr. Fernsby helped them cover it up as an accident. Zachary was still plagued by guilt with Alexa presumed dead when publicly confessed to his crimes. Curiously, the handwriting does not match the suicide note found in Zachary's bedroom. <gasps> he was about to confess to the world that he. Oh my god. Alexa murdered their older brother Montgomery 46 years ago and apparently Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident and 47 the handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room proving he didn't write it himself Mr. Fernsby clearly didn't commit the murder but I think you have enough evidence to convince Madame Carlyle he did Maybe you should tell him you are ready to present your findings. Ooh. Unless, of course, you want to do some more detecting, 47. The butler didn't do it. I'm not going to get the butler killed. He didn't deserve it. But I will save the game. <laughs> Just in case I decide to see what happens. There's apparently something in the greenhouse still, yeah. Let's see. So we did that, we did that, we did that. Yeah, I think there's the yeah, the greenhouse is the next one. I like this mission a lot. Okay. 
This is a table showing lethal dosages for the poison used to kill Zachary. Something is circled, 47. Female, age 65 to 79, 60 to 64 kilograms. I'd say Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. Imagine circling the target. You have uncovered enough evidence to tell Madame Carlyle that Emma is the murderer. Quite the detective, 47. I'm impressed. I suggest you go tell Mr. Fernsby. Unless you think there are more secrets to uncover. Mr. Fernsby? There is actually one more. That's just Montgomery Carlisle. Aha! Very teeny tiny footprints. Yep. Ooh, a, a good detective always walks in with like, I don't know, like a fruit or like something they're like chomping on, you know? So, mine's gonna be the, the apple. All right, you ready? Where is he? What are you going on about now? Well, I, I could listen all day. He pours emotion into that instrument. You and me both. These guys have a crush on Edward, dude. <laughs> God, he's so fucking sad. What a sad boy. I love him. The spectacle of mother screwing up. He's worried Hello, sir. about something. A mother knows. Here he is. I am ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carlyle. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. Killers in this room. I they better let me do that, dude. I really hope. <laughs> the killers crumpled in the corner over there. Uh. This is Madame Carlyle's office. Please step inside. Shit, here we go. Oh my god, the tension. All right. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I had to, I had to, <laughs> I had to do one. Uh. Okay. <clears throat> so, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. Please, go ahead. Where are you going? Please, sit down. 
Thank you. Now, where were we? Please remain seated, Mr. Whitmer. Tell me who you are. I will not tolerate that behavior. You can't ignore me. I am a Carlisle. Why are you wearing that? Who are you? <laughs> are you no! no! Let me see your- Christ! Help! Oh my fucking god! I like how confident she was, and then she was like, ah! <laughs> uh. Hey, lawman, thanks for the raid, man. I got, I'm so, I'm, I'm excited to catch up on the, uh, on the rumble you guys just did. You're, you're catching the very end of a literal murder mystery in Hitman 3. So, if you're planning to play it, then, uh, no spoilers. Please don't look. But um, it is, it has been so much fun. This is my favorite level in this game, in any Hitman game. It's so good. It's amazing. So we're actually at the reveal. We're at the, and the killer is in this very room right now. So give me the right time. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. Huh? There's a fine for littering here, sir. Please, go ahead. It was... Emma. Your niece, Emma Carlisle, murdered your brother, Zachary. My niece? Emma is not my niece. She's my daughter-in-law. And your niece. Emmer is the illegitimate child of your late older brother, Montgomery, who you and Zachary killed 46 years ago. Oh my That's God. preposterous. You asked me to find out what happened to Zachary. Would you rather not know? No. No, go on. I found a letter from Emmer's mother, Jane, who was the fiance of your older brother at the time of his death. She witnessed how you and Zachary pushed him off the balcony. She believed you did it to steal the Carlisle Empire from her and her unborn child. And she raised Emma to reclaim what she lost. Marry your heir, Gregory, get revenge, and secure the Carlisle Empire for her bloodline generations yeah. to come. Emma is the daughter of Montgomery and that local girl, Jane. She is. Well. The girl got it wrong. I didn't steal anything. I did what was necessary to protect the future of the Carlisles. Montgomery wasn't cut out to take over from father. All heart and no balls. Emma used the funeral gathering to speed up her installment as the lady of the house, seizing the opportunity to stage Zachary's suicide. She did her homework, used a poison made from one of Zachary's rare plants, found old floor plans from Thornbridge Manor to gain access to his room through a secret passage. That scheming bitch. More than you think. I found proof that she will try to poison you next. Well, I'll have to take care of that. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. You have not disappointed. I promised you I would reward you generously if you solved the case. So, what do you suggest? Your life. Oh, fuck. Wait. There's another option. Where are you going? Please, sit down. Oh, okay. Right. Where were we? <laughs> okay, all right. Let's see. <laughs> There's no way she gave me the case file. So this is... I, I want to see what happens. I want the file you have on Arthur Edwards. Edwards, the constant. But how do you... Oh, I see. 
I expected you might show up. But to kill me, not help me. But I've been wrong on so many things lately, so why not this one? I will give you the file on Edwards. You've earned it. I don't suppose I could convince you to deal with my daughter-in-law now you're here. What? I would like to see her dead. No? What a shame. I'll have to see to it some other way then. I know, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. She's the boss, dude. The file you want is in the safe. God, I hope you get Edwards and make him hurt. I need some privacy. Thank you. Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Oh fuck. I hit the fucking frame. <laughs> Oops. Alright. What happens when I say money? I'll send you an invoice. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. I trust you'll see yourself out. That's lame. I need some privacy. Thank you. Jeez. You both heard that crack. I'd advise you to slowly raise both hands over your head. Oh, that's cute. He wants to go hand to hand. Waste him! Crack him! Watch your back. That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. Eh, lame. But it's cool to know that I could, you know? Call of Duty bug. I want to see how I this one plays out. I like this option. It's Edwards. the first time there's like Edwards, a non-lethal option in, in this you... game. Oh, I see. I expected you might show up. But to kill me, not help me. But I've been wrong on so many things lately, so why not this one? I will give you the file on Edwards. You've earned it. I don't suppose I could convince you to deal with my daughter-in-law now you're here. Please remain seated, Mr. Whitmer. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Thank you. Now, where were we? I will give you the file on Edwards. You've earned it. I don't suppose I could convince you to deal with my daughter-in-law now you're here. I would like to see her dead. No? What a shame. I'll have to see to it some other way then. What a, okay. Oh, okay, she's gonna put in the code too. All right, I was gonna say. The file you want is in the safe. The safe opening from pressing a God, single I button is not a good plan. I need some privacy. Thank you. All right. Well, we're on to the end game. How do we want to go from here? Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Mission complete. Well done, 47. Uh-oh. Hey, need some help? 
here. Please, go get some help. Mission story missed. Wait, was there more that I missed? Really? Man, he's bad at his job, huh? Wait. You're not listening, buddy. You hold it right there. I'm coming. Engage your hostile targets. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to see what that, uh, fucking elk, uh, chandelier did when it fell. This map was so cool. I, like, I want to replay it already. I kind of want to see the other deaths. Fine, we'll do it without violence. There's like, th there's like four different things I want to try in this level. I want to see if you can kill Emma for her. Yeah, I was wondering that too. Is Emma slow around? Yikes. True. Hey, I need help. Please. Dodge, dodge, dodge. We're using this. I was saving this just in case. Son of a bitch! 
I was unicorn. Oh my god. They blew up that car from shooting so much. Messy amateur. Take it back, game. Gun. Bathroom delivery, greenhouse, garden. Cool. Take us all on. Dumped. Yeah! Tell the constant to start running. Fuck. You think you've won? Forty seven is out there, and forty seven never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I'll look forward to your call. Ooh, no! When did that happen? We killed her parents? Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. We're all that's left now. Damn. Whoa, this game's crazy, dude. Oh, so these are the other story missions we could do on how to kill her with like a story plot. That's really cool. So we can kill her like, you know, by just fucking shooting her or we like lay out one of the scenarios they had scripted. I like that. 
Man. Okay. All right. We've already been going for almost five hours. So here's what I propose, guys. I'm going to take a short break. And then I want to go in and play these other two these other two scenarios of this last level because I really enjoyed it. And then I might save this for the next stream, okay? Because I want to... I want to... I'm going to squeeze everything this game's got out of it, okay? So I'll be right back, and then we'll we'll come back to the next level in the next one, okay? In the meantime, uh, look at yourself in the mirror, okay? <laughs> All right, bear back. Ah, uh, chat. Such simple-minded and easily excitable people. <laughs> red, 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 red. Oh, oh, you're leaving. You're leaving. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh. Okay. Let's go again. This time, we're a gardener. And the short ball. Let's see how it goes.
Just raking some leaves. Surprise, I'm an assassin. <laughs> Bad news, I'm afraid. Uh, we don't have any extra fuses. Ethel looked everywhere. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No power, no portrait. Oh, Madam Carlyle will be furious. Uh, if we expect the family to be done any moment now. Fine, you do. All right. Hide the body. I'll never get how the rich do All this fuss for a pretend funeral. And why not do a photo shoot because we're all gathered? Talk about messed up multitasking. Manually plugged in fuses? Do they even exist anymore? How old is this shit? How old is this shit? gonna take his job. in Madame Carlyle's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. Madame Carlyle must believe Zachary was murdered. Why else ask him to snoop around? I feel weak in my knees from all the tension here. It will all need a vacation when this is over. I wonder what the dude's gonna do without clothes. to leave so I can put that thing. Uh, okay, hold on. Here's some ideas. Um, Alright, option one. Hey, can someone check that out quickly? You, you do it. Oh my gosh, you Where did that guy, what, where did this guy go? He's like, well, got no clothes, time to go home. Hi, I'm the old photographer. Oh, sounds like the power's back up. Why don't you take a picture to test it? This is not a well-framed photo. Wow. You must have quite the portfolio. I'm ready for the shoot. Perfect. I'll call the family down now then. Uh, 
Excellent, 47. Madame Carlyle is on her way down for the family photo shoot. Let's see if any memorable moments will play out in front of the camera. Ooh. Well, so I broke that, but the water isn't on it. Oh God, oh God. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Ooh. Good afternoon. Who are you talking to? Edward, you can't let Mother get to you like this. You've always been immune to her. How do you do it? I'm the youngest. Guess I just flew under the radar when it... Down by the fountain. I expect you to be efficient. I have a lot to see to today. I'll do my best. All right, come on. Get to it. Right ahead, please. Is showing up really too much to ask? I'm not waiting much longer. Listen, everyone. I understand that you have a lot of questions. Please be patient for a little longer. I will address you in the sitting room afterwards. Right, get in position. Let's get this over with. Chin up, Edward. No one wants to look at that long face. You're such an idiot, Gregory. I'm fine, Rebecca. Fine? You look like a nervous wreck. Stop bickering. Christ. Well, Mother, you certainly know how to lighten the mood. Okay, everyone. Hey, jeez. Just take the picture. We don't have all day. Jeez. Hey, cheese. Cheese. <laughs> that will be enough. No need to spend the entire day here. Please, everybody, go to the sitting room. I need to speak to you all. Hey, boo, how the water I come want in? to stress that I expect absolute discretion about everything you've Would you like some today? help writing no the eulogy for someone? No one know I was here. I can draw oh. something up in 15 minutes. Are you coming, Mummy? I just I need can't. some fresh air. I must do I'll it I'll be well. in shortly. You go in. Will Mother think if she knew I had help? Oh, my God. I'll never understand the two of you. Gregory is That is, going is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator oh. hired by Madame Carla this morning. He's not me. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Muddy prints from high hills. Expensive. Size six. Oh, yo. How, I honestly, I would play through this again just to watch him do the entire thing I did and like see what happens from it, you know? Sorry, can't be here. This guy needs to be stopped. Hey, hey. you! It's trouble! Wait, so how was I supposed to kill them? Did I need to, like, loosen the, uh, fountain nozzle or something to, like, make the water fly in them? 
Oh my god. I'm a fucking idiot, now. dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's try do it one more time. Here they come. All right. It's just in front of the fountain. I think it'll only be her because she's the one that sits in the chair, and the chair's metal. Hi, good afternoon. You know? Ooh, man, I can get the photo of her as she's dying. That's so cool and really Edward, twisted. You can't let Mother get to you like this. You've always been immune to her. How do you do it? I'm the youngest. I guess I just flew under the down by the fountain. I expect you to be efficient. I have a lot to see to today. I'll do my best. Yeah, I like how no one's noticing the surge protector in the water. <laughs> it is very apparent. Listen, everyone. I understand that you have a lot of questions. Please be patient for a little longer. I will address you in the sitting room afterwards. Right, get in position. Let's get this oh, over. God. The anticipation. There's a puddle of water here. Oh, never mind. Let's just get this done, shall we? Chin up, Edward. No one wants to look at that long face. You're such an idiot, Gregory. I'm fine, Rebecca. Fine? You look like a nervous wreck. Stop bickering. Well, Mother, you certainly know how to lighten the mood. Uh... <laughs> oh no. Well, yeah, that would do it. That's Madam Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. Let's see what they do. Gonna say anything? Hello, it's me. I, I, I know I'm me. Well, okay. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator. Hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why right he's here. Me, Maybe you house. should do some detecting yourself, 47. I, I almost just want to replay it just to hear his monologues of being like, Oh, the greenhouse. The perfect place to get the poisonous plant materials. we get to the top floor if I can get that case file I'll get a perfect score that was honestly the easiest murder in this game
didn't tell me about anything exciting. Mother is dead, Gregory. You need to move that off to help you figure out what the hell is going on. Damn, they really don't care she's dead. Who is this guy? Could this streamer be good at the game when no one's looking? Could it be so? Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. Oh, God. All right, clock, uh, fucking astronaut machine, fire, moose. Clock is... Two? <laughs> Telescope astronaut machine. Uh, look, I couldn't think of the name. What do you want from me? Six. Astronaut machine. Is it six nine two seven again? Fire moose. Seven. Nine seven five. Mm. It's not a six. What is it? Another clock. It's like 2.30, no, 3.30, helpful. What the hell? What's this room for?
like three. Oh, wait, is there another? Oh, it's a one. <laughs> I, I was just looking at the clock, guys. Leave me alone. Mission complete. Well done, 47. We can't be big. Uh, boat. Do the boat exit. She literally died like five minutes ago. The hearse. That'd be pretty cool to leave from the hearse. Security detail at a staged funeral event tomorrow. That'll be a first for me. I hope I can keep it straight. They don't know she's dead still. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just it's chilling. It's having a good time. Let it do its thing. I want that man's keys. Okay, bye. Two stars. even saw me whatever dude change 
changing room. Okay, one more, one more, guys, one more. I want to see the uh, the buried alive scenario. Their earliest known ancestor was knighted during War of the Roses. Second Opium War, shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. They were all fraternity brothers. They pooled their assets through and. Staff room this time. Smuggled item. Changing room. Gun. Two guns. Concealed weapon. Another gun. <laughs> I got so many fucking guns. What is that? A snow globe. Fuck it, why not? Hey, anonymous gifter. Thank you for gifting us up. Did all the groceries arrive? I heard some of the delivery people were unhappy with the security at the gate. But what is safe with Ethel? She never misses a step. That's Gossip me then, chaps. Too. Just scrubbing my wellies down Secretary here, Secretary making sure upstairs. they's no nice and clean everywhere. for the people's up top in there. the oh, upper God. rooms then. It's such a big responsibility. Cheerio. I have to protect it, right? How'd you even do that? I can't do that. That worked. We'll be fine, Robbie. Hit the I did not say scrubbing my willies. I said scrubbing my wellies, chat. You fools. Sam, you're supposed to be asleep? Oh no, I was just pretending to be stripping there. But if he was here, he'd be like, Oh, mate! That man's bald as a donut, ain't he? Hotel booked. Car packed. And now he's gonna go kill the Undertaker now, isn't he? Trying to get the assassination then. Isn't it? Right, me. I like this new bit of always pretending to be stripping every stream and it's never <laughs> even close. He's in a right state. So, unless you want to take on the birds, I suggest you stay clear of him. Oh, no, my aim's horrible. Madam Carlyle is still going ahead with her staged funeral tomorrow, and she wants to inspect the arrangements. How about it, 47? Safer for everyone if I just wait here till he says he's ready for Madam. Get rid of the birds, okay. How about then? <laughs> okay. There you go. Finally, the birds are gone. Hey there. 
You are invading my personal for space, sir. Let me get that outfit. The birds are gone, and I'm ready to see Madame Carlyle now. Good, I'll let her know. Mr. Parsons is ready to see Madame Carlyle. Now's the right time. Brave. was dastardly You can see the body under the water. Why is it flooded anyway? <laughs> I guess the rain, it really rained recently. Well done, 47. Madame Carlyle is on her way. I wonder how she will like her final resting ground. There must be a better way to do it than like... The grave, I guess, but... Oh shit, there she is. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Focus up, focus up. Mr. Parsons, I don't like to be kept waiting. I trust we can be efficient now I'm here. I can be very efficient, Madam Carlyle. I love his voice. What's that picture of me doing here? What an awful idea. I want it removed before the ceremony tomorrow. I must say I don't care much for the choice of flowers either. I need a moment to consider what I want. What's that podium? I find that having family members do the eulogy is more often than not a toe-cringing affair. I've never understood the need to publicly display grief. A person died, most natural thing in the world. No need to make an emotional spectacle of it. I hope you haven't planned for one of those. Uh, no. I prefer to keep it simple. And the gravestone. Granite, solid, no fuss. I like it. Well done, Mr. Parsons, I approve. Yes, it will mark your grave beautifully. So, to sum up, I expect you to remove my picture from the memorial. That was an absolutely horrendous idea. Very unfit for these historical surroundings. This is my- <laughs> That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. That fucking guard sucks so bad. Where's Madame Carlyle? <laughs> 
The last things we hear. Wait a minute. Where'd the boss go? Last I saw, she was looking at the grave. Uh, Fitzpatrick talking to Madame Carlyle's door. Rebecca? Yeah. She's insistent, that one. She kept asking all kinds of questions. Who had the other one? Oh, I gave it to her, that sort of thing. You did make sure she didn't see you give the other one to the butler. You guys remember the passcode still? Oop. Gotta dig this place. Ancestral graveyard, trophy room, and the office safe is hidden behind a portrait <laughs> with a secret mechanism for uncovering it. It's got real soul. First time here? Yep. Yeah, it's impressive, all right. A safe in Madame Carla's office. Breaker, I breaker, bet that's where she keeps the file Stand on still. Arthur Edwards. Look at him, he thinks... Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. What was it? It was 69, right? Oh no, it was a, it was a one nine. Oops. One nine seventy five. Is that her birthday? That's lame if, if true. Mission complete. Well done, 47. You see, good bleach. Two stars again? No way, dude. This is a this is a five star gamer moment. Watch. I won't even go that way. I'll go this way. ready for the funeral. It needs to look good for the family portrait. Time is also score. Uh your your face is also score. Now Zachary won't get to see the rhododendron peregrinium plot. They were in favor.
Yo! Who is this guy? He's so freaking good! Eh. Come on, three stars. One! Okay. Motherfucker. I've seen enough. I'm not one star, Andy. Hey, get back. All right, uh, my man is hungry, and I gotta get some food before it's too late to sleep. So, thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the broadcast, and I will see you guys tomorrow for another one, okay? Uh, I will play more of this game, okay? You have my word. I'm loving this game. So, uh, I will definitely be reprising my role as Mr. Hitman in the next couple days. Maybe even tomorrow. I think tomorrow I'm I'm on a uh, a D and D show with Brett until about seven. And then maybe I'll continue with more uh with more Hitman. So I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching. And uh again um we got a uh, we got VR chat Calis Rare on Friday. So Chris Katie says Kraken, I'm the one who did the realistic portrait of you last month. Does that earn perma VIP? Huh. So here's the thing, Katie. Um, I said you get VIP for one stream. However, I have said that for every single person that I've given VIP to. And usually when the stream's ending, they hide because they know that I will take it away if they show themselves. And they know also that I'll forget as soon as I end stream. Um, and the fact that you came back to honestly, you know, request to keep VIP is enough uh, for me. So, you know what, Katie? You can keep it. Thanks for your fun pun earlier about the banana. Um... Enjoy the VIP. Melbert says, I've been VIP since the dawn of time. Um, Melbert, uh, you just lost VIP. Thank you for being honest. All right. Thanks, everyone. Uh, go hang out with uh, Bruce, who's now playing Hitman as well. I'm going to raid him, and you can now hang out with him. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding, Melbert. You're fine. You're fine, dude. <laughs> My legacy. All right. I hope you guys had a good stream. I had a good time. Um, That was, uh, I love this game. I'm very excited to keep playing it. So we'll be back probably tomorrow night with more. Uh, and you no, know, thanks for joining us. So there'll be a video on YouTube about this eventually. Um, in the meantime, you know where to find me. And go tell Bruce uh, that I say hi. Have a good night, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm sure there's some good clips from this that we got to go through. So remember to clip things because I always watch the clips that are taken. So go out and, uh, you know, do the the clipping and highlighting for me so I don't have to do it. <laughs> All right. Take care, everyone. And I will see you tomorrow.